in this video I want to show you how you can create a simple e-commerce sales page or landing page as we traditionally do it in Nigeria so I already created one where you can do this on Google sites for free that is if you do not have a website but now I want to show you how you can do it because we have more options here and sometimes this thing becomes confusing my name is good Noel and I make videos like this so if you like videos like this then you should like this video and you should equally subscribe to this youtube channel now the first thing we need to do is to come to our wordpress website and log in so i use wordpress so this is i'm already logged into my wordpress um, website and i'm here to create a page so the first step is to make sure that your your page is completely um blank all right what i mean by blank is that your page does not have the header and the footer that comes with your theme all right this is important because we don't want people to be distracted when they land on our sales page or our landing page all right so now we need to do we need to have um a header a subheader we need to put pictures and or videos and we need to add for a form for them to fill and then we need to equally add buttons so this is basically how we do it so the first step is to come here we need a header like i've said so i'm building this page with elementor which is um, a free um a drag and drop way of building pages so i'll put the link in the description of this video i'll probably put all the important links that you need in the description of this video so you should check them out so we need to first add a header so you can just drag it and drop it here so we now have a header so i'm just going to drag and drop all the blocks i need then we start filling them one after the other so this one this second header i want it to act as my subheader and then we want to add pictures so i'm going to use an inner section for this because i want to add like um, two or three pictures so i'm just going to drag inner section and put it right here all right so i'm going to duplicate this so that i can have four pictures all right so if you have um any issues if you think i'm too fast you can ask questions in the comment section of this video i will reply you all right so we've added um, our pictures we want to add them um, let's say a button all right so we'll put the button and then we want to add um, an inner test a test editor where we can write a lot of things so we added we have added that so at the top here after our subheading let's just add them um, an inner test too all right so let's just put it there and down here we can decide to add um, a video we can want to embed the video all right so and before this video we want to equally add um, let's say a header that tells them what this video is about all right so we want to add one header there so let's drag this header here all right so again down here you can add um let's let me delete this or to delete that one you can add them um, let's say um, a button down here all right and again we have to add a form we have to add a form let's add a form between these two um, buttons so down here you come down to where it says WP form so if you don't have WP forms you can just go to your plugin your plugins and type wp forms and add it but if you have another form you use it's it's great it's all right so but i'm just going to use wp form for this video all right so i just drag it and then i drop it here all right so if you've created forms it's just going to ask you to select the form you want but if you've not created the form it's going to ask you to um, add a new form so i just created one before making this video is a very shabby form but Think that will do so now let's come here and start editing so we this is our first header let's say we want to sell um, a cooking pot so i'm just going to name it electric cooking pot electric cooking pot because that's what we want to sell here electric cooking pot so we can center it all right and we can change the font style of this so i'm just going to change the font color so i'm just going to make it something like this all right and then i can change the typography or you can leave it at default but i'm just going to change the typography you can change the size 
the size if you want it to pop you can make it pop all right so let's add our subheading our subheading can be cook cooking minutes or cooking seconds let's say cooking minutes i don't think you can cook in seconds so let's say cook in minutes so we are just going to uh, move it there too and um we come to style we can change the font style again or the font color so i'm just going to keep it here if you want it to be uniform you can just use the color sampler and select the colors and boom you have a uniform color all right let's change um, the typography which is the test so we can just change it and then we can just set it to let's say um 50 50 is fine let's leave it at 50. so we now have tests here um i don't really have any tests i have prepared for this video but you can write whatever you want here let's say you want to write them um, the benefits or the the description of what you are selling whatever you want to write you can just copy it and put it there all right but i do not have anything written now so i'm just going to leave that one let's come to where we add pictures so now we just added an inner section so we need to add images so we drag and drop the image and put it and put it right here all right so i'm just dragging and dropping um, multiple images because we want to add uh, multiple images to this so let's let's add the images you just come to choose image i already uploaded some of these um pictures so i'm just going to select them from my media gallery my media library but if you've not you just come to upload files and select the files you want to upload so to make this video short i'm just going to select these ones and put them here so i i I pick this I change it I select the second one so I pick this one I insert that's actually the same picture <laughs> so I'm going to select another one so we are using four pictures for this so I select this one I insert so we just need one more I'm just going to pick this so I'm just going to select this even though that's not an electric port but that's what I've got for now so right here you can add them another header you can just see see how it works or see it works see the magic blah 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 you already know what you want to write let's just use this one see it work So again you can center it if you want it to be uniform all right you can equally change the test again we are going to use our color sampler again because i want this to be uniform all right so we can change the typography we'll put it to roman times roman blah 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 so let's say we want to move this to 52 let's keep it to 50 Oh, what's going on man let's keep it to 50 all right so here at here where we want to put a video you can um, upload this video all you have to do is come to self hosted and upload the video or you can upload the the video through youtube so you can just get um, a youtube um, link to the video you want to upload and then you just embed the link so i think i have one of my own link i've copied all right so i'm just going to put my own video here but you must have uploaded this video to youtube all right so you can just upload it as unlisted copy the link and put it here all right so now we want to add a button here let's edit the button let's say we want these guys to send us a message on whatsapp or whatever you want them to do but this button has to redirect them somewhere so let's say send on whatsapp send on whatsapp all right you can equally center it you can change the styling the color of all of these but we don't want to do that we just want to keep it simple so you generate the whatsapp link where you give them but i'm not going to generate that link here so i'm just going to use my website url here i just put it there all right 
so once they click on this link it's going to take them to this link here so what you should do if you want them to send you a message on whatsapp is to generate a short link that will make them be able that will make it clickable so they can send you a message on whatsapp so this is where you put the link here if you are using a group it is the same thing if you generate a group link you put it here all right if you want it to be on your instagram the same process you put your instagram profile link here all right so now i want to select a form like i said i already created one form so i'm just going to use this one all right but this is not a traditional way of um this is not the traditional way we create the e-commerce form so what you should do is you ask for their name their phone number so you can contact them their delivery address and the quantity they want if you have multiple um bundles that you sell but if you if you sell just one if you are selling just a piece of your item you don't need the quantity so you just collect the name the de delivery address the phone number and um, the state that's if you sell i am um, in multiple states so that's all you need so down here this is where the the click to submit after the after that so right here this is another button let's say we want to add another button it's the same process you add the link again i'm going to add goodnoel goodnoel.com all right that's my website so again we can center it all right and right here we can use this place as our disclaimer for facebook or instagram or google because they want us to write disclaimers so you can write disclaimers this site is not endorsed by facebook or google blah 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 so you just write your disclaimer here so i'm just going to delete that one all right so let's say disclaimer again you can center it if you want all right you can change the colors and all of that so this is practically it this is practically it all right so the only thing we do not have here is the tests because i've not written it out but as you can see this is taking shape and it, it looks slightly fine all right of course you can do better so you have to take your time and try to build something that is fine so let's look at this what we have created on mobile so i come here and see how responsive it is on mobile if it is fine on mobile phone so you can see it's not it's not bad it's not bad of course we can do better so let's just center this all right so let's say we want to change um, the background of this so we can just come here click on that and then go to style the layout here the layout we can go to style and customize as we want well, we are just going to leave it simple here we're just going to leave it as white as it is here but let's 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 just do that let's just do that all right so let's say we want to change the color you can just drag this as you can see the background color changes and all of that all right so um let's let's try this let's see if this works i'm just going to leave it this way because i don't want this video to be very very lengthy and boom so let's say we are done here we are done here let's publish and then we can preview so i'm just going to we have to do is just click on updates and our website our landing page our sales page whatever you want to call it will be ready all right so let's look at it on a tab view so this is um, the tab view all right and this is um, the desktop view and um, our page is is actually ready so let's preview it and see so this is how it's going to appear to this is how it's going to appear when people land on it mm, i don't think this is bad so our video okay our video is up now so I think this is this is not bad. This is not bad. So this is how you create this simple and straight to the point. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.